I only want to stay till Christmas. So you can wreck that as well? I don't think so. Oh, please, though. They like you. They'll listen to you. If it were up to me, they'd have put you out weeks ago. You think you're all that, didn't you? Mm. Here we go. Your life's just so perfect. Are you wrapping up any time soon? Because I'm getting bored of you. Right, mate, it's two of us, then. Did you get yourself checked regular for STDs and that? I don't have to listen to this. Because that bird Dennis has been knocking around with don't exactly look squeaky clean. What did you say? I saw him last night, snogging Sharon's face off. You're lying. Dennis was working last night. You're more stupid than you look. He ain't going to tell you the truth, is he? I don't believe you, Stace. I guess he got fed up of doing it with a scraggy old tart like you. Well, no, you've got to go. Mm, Don't I'm want going. to go through the roster, will you? <laughs> go, 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 go. Mm. <laughs> what are you having, Sheila? Uh, tea. Two teas, please. Okay. What's with the sad face? What do you care? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about last night. I didn't get your message. I was working. You weren't busy, so don't bother saying it. I was busy. But I can't just drop everything. This ain't Zoe you're talking to. You haven't got a lie. I'm not. I was at the club. I saw you with Sharon last night getting out of that cab. What are you talking about? What do you reckon? It's not what you think we work together. Is that what you tell Zoe? Well, Zoe understands. Well, she knows you snogged your sister. She's not my sister. So you're not denying it, then? You don't have to lie to me, you know. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. Don't worry, I tried telling her, but she wouldn't have none of it. Well, why would you do something like that? Because she needs to be taught a lesson. I thought me and you were mates. Mates? I needed you last night, but you're just as bad as the rest of them. I wasn't doing anything last night. Get away from him. It's not me you should be worried about. Don't let her get to you, babe. It's her last day. She's just trying to cause trouble. Yeah, can I have my arm back, please? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You took your time. Yes. Stacy saw us. What? Last night, she knows. Do you think she'll tell Zoe? She already has. What? It's all right, Zoe doesn't believe her. She trusts me. <sighs> That's a relief. A relief? Well, we're not ready for people to find out yet, are we? You mean you're not ready to tell them? I've only just got you back. Just a bit longer, yeah? Sharon, this isn't me. You know, and it's not fair on Zoe. What are you going to do, then? I don't know. But if she asks me, I ain't going to lie. What I'm going to do is use this special fabric condition on the little girl's bedding. It's called Mountain Lily. It oh. smells lovely. Oh, that's very kind of you, Pauline. All right. Uh, Paul, you got time for a service wash? Yeah, just dump it over there. I'll get on it straight away. All right. Come back for it later, yeah? OK. Bye. Bye. Are you looking for something? Oh, um, you haven't seen anything of Mo's lying about, have you? Well, don't think so. I mean... Only lost garments are hanging up over there. Oh, no, it's not here. She swears this is where she left it. It's a big blue thing. I haven't seen it. Still Andy Hunter's running around footloose and fancy free. Have I got to do everything for you? You're Dennis's dad, aren't you? I have that privilege, yeah. I'm Stacy. Stacy Slater. I'm a cousin of Zoe's. Yeah, I know that munchkin. Is Dennis about? He didn't catch up with you then. Eh? He went out of that calf like a scalded cat. Well, is he here or not? Well, can you see him? All right, then I'll keep looking. You do that. Uh, sorry about that, I got interrupted. Abs? 
Absent Stace. I need you to make some calls. Yeah, that's right. I don't deal with that side of the business. What, and your mate said to insist on speaking to me? Huh. Okay, then. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye. Hi, Paul. Oh, Sharon. Uh, yeah, um, your wash should be ready in about half an hour, all right? Oh, I'll come out later, Paul. Hello? Yeah, I'm Miss Watts. And did you tell him it was urgent? Nice one, Abs. Got to go. Look, Zoe, I know you're not going to believe me, but if you want to see Sharon and Dennis together for yourself, then come down the club now. Nothing. Looks it. A lot of cloak and dagger stuff going on today. Want to let me in on the secret? Hi. Oh. What's going on? I'm not sure. Who's is that? I don't know about mine. Someone's mucking about here. Yeah, and I think I know who. Dennis? See anyone else happy? You've been troubled since the day you arrived here. I'm oh, going take her side as usual. You lot never wanted me here in the first place. Don't make out you're the victim. You deliberately set out to wreck my relationship with Dennis. Relationship? You're having a laugh. Right. That's enough. You've got a nasty mind and a vicious tongue. And I'll be glad to see the back of you. I'm very disappointed in you, young lady. This is so unfair. I'm telling the truth. Go on. Why don't you ask him? See what lover boy has to say for himself. Sorry. I don't need to. It was all down to this little cow stirring it. Now get your stuff and get out! Dennis! Dennis! Something you want to tell me, Princess? <laughs> 